Hey guys, I think it's time for a new Muso. So let's do it. We're down to our last five Muso modes, and uh, I'm really surprised that I actually have completed every single one of these Muso modes. But uh, anyway, like I said in the last video, the next Muso mode we'll be doing is Jungle Yao. So let's do it. And the first level is the battle at Hulao Gate. I suggest my lord Wan Shao. Yes. All right then. I accept the position of Grand Commander, and I swear to destroy the traitor Don Zhao. Our allies have begun their attack! I shall accompany you. Alright, as always the intro. The hard-fought struggle against the Yellow Turbans brought peace to the troubled land. However, this peace was short-lived, as the General Dong Zhuo emerged from the Yellow Turban campaign, hoping to seize power for himself. While pretending to serve in the name of the Child Emperor, Dong Zhuo enters the capital of Luoyang, seizing control of the government. With his newfound power and the mighty Lu Bu at his side, Dong Zhuo begins a reign of terror, shaking the imperial institution to its very core. Han loyalists, dissatisfied with Dong Zhuo's abuse of power, rally around young Cao Cao's call to expunge the corrupt leader, raising an alliance to oppose him. With Wan Shao as their leader, an answer to the tyranny of Dong Zhuo is formed. In the year 191, the two forces meet in the lands east of Luoyang, with a strategically vital Fan Shui and Hu Lao gates as a backdrop. The battle for control of the land is once again about to begin. All right, the equipment, the weapon. Ooh, we actually have a level two weapon, so we're gonna use that for our advantage. The items are the uh, same items as we always use: life, musu, attack. Uh, defense and the saddle right here. Don't worry. Later on, this these five will be changed to something else entirely. Uh, the bodyguard count is still at two because well we haven't played with Zhang Liao yet. The conditions are the same as always. If Dong Zhuo is defeated, we uh, win. And if you want Shao's defeated, or if I die, uh, we lose and it's the game over. You know, same thing. Nothing will change. Unit info. I have mentioned before that was one little change in this unit info. You could do, you always remember in this battle that you always play it. Well, you have to face Zhang Liao. Well, if you look at Lu Bu's uh, officers, Zhang Liao is not there. So, if you were playing free mode and you play Zhang Liao, Zhang Liao will be one of Lu Bu's officers. But in Musa mode, no. It's officer named Zhang, uh, Zhang Ji. So, that's the only change. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We did the intro, so let's do it. Soon Jian, go straight ahead. Cow Cow, go to the top of the Fan Shui gate. Wan Shu, you attack from the rear. Lu Bei, go around and keep an eye on the Hu Lao gate. Go. 
Alright, the first thing we're gonna do is go all the way around and defeat Wong Fong. There's Wong Fong. Now let's just kill him. I defeated an officer. Don't fall behind. We defeat Wong Fong and this gate opens. And now we're gonna go straight for Lubu. Also, if you encounter Lubu playing as Zhang Liao, there'll be a different cutscene. Whether it's Musu mode or free mode, the cutscene will still be the same. Alright, Gao Shun first. I defeated an officer. Don't fall behind. You of all people would betray me? Such is the fate of one who lives in these times. You are no exception, Lord Lubu! Ow. Did I just... Okay, I lost one of my bodyguards. I thought I lost them both. Now I lost the other one. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to take both of them. That was a mistake. Alright, he's almost dead. Yikes. No! He's gained health back again. Oh, it should be quick anyway. Goodbye. I defeated an officer. Don't get behind. Nice to have a plus four.
All right, so once you defeat Lu Bu, I mean, I'm saying it probably the umpteenth time now. Uh, supply unit will appear. Uh, the supply unit contains, well, if you go to the supply unit and defeat the supply captain, it will contain a red hair saddle. But we already have the red hair saddle, so we have. I have no intention in grabbing it again because there's, you can't get two of them. Might as well go up and go on the other side and defeat Hua Shang's two sub officers, Zhao Sen and Hu Zhen. And get the Musa one in the process. Alright, so we got the Musa wine. Now we're gonna defeat the two officers. And they're both right next to each other, which is great. That's one. And there's the other. I don't think I killed him. Don't fall behind. I think Soon Jian did the last kill. The last hit. Yep, he did the last hit. Looked like it. Don't get behind. Then once you defeat those two uh, uh those two uh officers, this gate will open. Like so. Ooh, that helps. You are a better general than I have heard. Now Hua Xiang. I defeated an officer. We mustn't be outdone. Fight harder. Alright, we defeated Hua Xiang, now we're gonna go for Shu Rong. Who will be up here? Alright, now we're going to secure this gate. For some reason, I like securing this one particular gate. I don't know why. Alright, we secured the gate. Now we're going to go all the way down and defeat Nang Zhuo's officer Li Meng on the way to Hula Gate. There's pretty much nothing else really to do. I mean, we defeat almost everybody. I have a tendency to ignore Fan Cho and... You know what? Actually, I might just kill him this time. Because I keep on skipping him. I think it's time to actually face him once in a while. I mean, I, I remember facing him somewhere. But, uh... I have always have the tendency to skip it because it's, it's just not in my way. Alright, so... Fan... Uh, Fan Cho... Don't fall 
Alright, now I'm gonna go down and defeat Li Meng. I mean, my KO count's very high as it is, but uh, if you haven't, well, I'll say this. If I haven't unlocked Lu Bu already, I probably would have done it by now. Which probably makes no sense to begin with, but uh, I mean, with the topic I'm going on. At. But uh, the, if in order to unlock Lu Bu, you have to get a thousand KOs at Huao Gate. You don't have to defeat Lu Bu, but uh, knowing me, I always defeat Lu Bu regardless. So face Lu Bu, and it will be uh, yeah, face Lu Bu, then. Just keep on having the troops spawn out at Hulao Gate. That's the trick. And I don't know why I'm helping them out over here. Might as well just go straight here so I can get as many KOs as I can. So Li Meng. I defeated an officer. You're a better general than I have heard. Alright, so what we gotta do here is defend the assault captain. I mean, to this day, I am glad I figured out what would happen if you kill him because I kept on. I mean, on easy and normal, it's one thing, but on hard, you could actually really kill him off. But if you do it on easy, you literally have to watch him die, and it's not fun just standing there. But, uh. So it's actually opened. But if you were to die, Li Wu would appear, and everyone's morale would shoot through the not shoot through the roof, but it would increase. Then you would have to defeat Li Ru to open the gate. That's if you kill. That is if the assault captain dies. You're a better general than I have heard. All right. Theo Chan. Father, please forgive me. I defeated an officer. We must fight well. But yeah, this little trick, just staying in one place, will help you get the thousand KOs you need for uh, unlocking Lubu. Because no matter how m much you try, just standing there, because if you look at the map, there's three gates and the troops will be spawning left and right out of those gates. And you'll get the same items you need, attack, uh, the battle axe, the battle armor, and uh, the healing ointment, which respectively all 
doubles attack, doubles defense, and recovers health and Musu. Also, the wine that also match, uh, re uh, recovers your Musu uh, bar. So that it's a great combination that they all spawn out like that and drop left and right. So you have at least something. But uh, we're gonna go up and grab the dim sum and finish this battle off before the two generals appear out of nowhere on the top. But there's really no need because Sal Sal will kill him off easily for the fact that I'm playing as a way officer. Even if, if that's even Sal Sal out there, yeah, that is okay. I'm done pausing for now. All right. Yeah, I will never go all the way up there and grab and kill those guys and come back down. Just a waste of time. Alright, so we secured all three gates, now we're gonna defeat Dong Zhuo, which he's almost halfway dead anyway. And see, he kills him off quickly. Yeah, that was one. And Li Jue is next. But uh I'm pretty sure he's gonna we're gonna kill Dong Zhuo before that happens. That to win. All right, so that took. Let's see how long that took. That took around a good 16 minutes. That's not bad. Uh, the items. I'm probably. Yeah, they're not promising at all. I mean, it's the first level after all. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got. Uh, KO count 676, which is really good because we basically tripled our points. Almost quadrupled. Like, between th three, triple and quadruple. We defeated, uh, a worthy point opponent count was 12. Well, generals and officers, so to speak, and our points are actually pretty, going to be pretty high because of that. I don't know why I'm talking about the points. But, uh, I mean the points with the worthy opponents, but, uh, we lost both of our bodyguards, but we still have a good 7,400. Uh, we have a good high amount of points. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, I have a blank. Uh, I'm saying stuff, but it's not coming out. But uh, anyway, yeah, a good 7,000. That's not bad for this level. Um, are we going to get any... I mean, we see the body got uh, st 
stats are going up, but I don't think we're gonna get anything out of it. Nope, just same two little, the same two privates. Okay, I'm gonna overwrite Pong Tongs and Musou since we completed it, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part. Peace.